Hey friends, we are back with another one. Kalia is in her current era of trying to learn how to do her own hair. So in this video, she's going to do a beret out. We did a twist out a couple weeks ago and she did really well. For her very first twist out, I think she did very good. She did break down on me a little bit, but we're learning as we're going through this and navigating these new rivers, but we're gonna get it together. So before we go any further, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button, baby. Located right below this video, come join the family. We would love to have you here. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey mom, Hey, bestie, hey, friend. It's nice to see you once again. Let's go ahead and jump straight into this. So I'm going in with the Camille Latte Leave-In Cream. And this is pretty much typical to most of your leave-in conditioners. It has a very lightweight scent, very soft, not too heavy and perfumey, but it does have a scent. So if you are very sensitive to smells, I do not recommend this one. It does have a scent, but it's very lightweight and it's going to help soften that hair so we can get through this jungle that she has and she calls hair to make sure we can part it and detangle it properly to get into this braid out. I always start off all of her styles into uh, four sections. The four sections that definitely helps me navigate it so I don't get overwhelmed with hair. And I do the same thing for Kalia. I tell her to always part her hair into four sections before we jump any further. And I try my best to separate the hair without causing any pain, but every now and then I get one stubborn knot that just don't wanna cooperate with me. Now I picked up this new brush back when me and the girls went on a vacation to the beach. I forgot to pack any brushes and combs. I know, how I managed to do that is insane. So I had to run to Walmart and I picked up this cheap little detangling brush, but it seems to be working great. Like a little $8 brush is doing wonders. And Kalia seems to be able to use it and she's able to handle it uh, well when it comes to detangling her own hair too. I I usually use a uh, tangle teaser, which has a funny kind of shape. It's supposed to be a, you know, ergonomic shape for your hand so you don't cramp. And that's the reason why I purchased it because I was experiencing a little bit of arthritis because y'all see this hair, right? Y'all understand why I had arthritis, right? Okay, just making sure we all on the same page. So I purchased that thinking that that was gonna help. And you know, it did, but Kalia had a hard time finding her grip with it. So this brush seems to be working for her. Um, it does plow through those curls a little bit more than I would like it to, which is why I prefer to detangle with a pick comb first. But I've been trying it out, at least with smaller sections, it works fine. Now I did go in with some styling cream. That was the As I Am Twisting Cream. Very thick, very heavy cream. And when it comes to twist outs and braid outs, especially for Kalia's very you know curly hair and it can experience a lot of frizz i like to use heavy heavy creams to make sure it's going to uh, clump those curls together because as you can see those curls are nice and clumped and defined and i love seeing that when it comes to a twist out and a braid out right before i'm about to braid and twist because i know it's going to help me with that hold that frizz and it's going to give me more definition rather than volume but with kalia's hair volume's going to come irregardless it don't matter what product i use so i did a simple three strand braid and then once i get to the end i kind of twirl it to create this kind of cute little curl at the end and that's gonna hold it in place that's it I, th that's really all i do now for each four sections i did three to four braids i want to say i did three braids per section sometimes i do four it just really depends on my mood and how her hair is cooperating with the styling cream but this styling cream is definitely clumping those curls together the way i love the way i love like to see so I didn't have to do as many braids but if you prefer more definition definitely go for more braids the smaller the braids the more definition the bigger the braids the more volume So I finished my back section. Now it's time for Kalia to kind of take over because you could see she was getting a little lax. Homegirl thought I was about to do the whole head and pulled up her little TikTok like she was gonna sit there and watch me work. Oh no, baby. Oh no, no ma'am. Pick up that comb and get to work. So here she is trying to part her hair. Now the parting seems to be the part that she gets stuck on the most, which I understand. She has a thick amount of hair. So anybody would struggle with trying to part this hair. Hell, I still struggle with trying to do her hair. So sometimes I do have to kind of come in and like reiterate on how to part and the best way to do it. But trying to show somebody how to do it on their own head is a whole lot different than you doing it on somebody else's head. You kind of have to like contort your hands and your arms to be able to reach in certain areas to be able to do it. So it can be a little funny. So being having to do your own hair can be difficult. Uh, I'm definitely like people who can do their own hair are, are definitely top tier, <laughs> which is I, you know, so I, I understand why it is a struggle for a lot of people to catch on to it, especially watching my 12 year old struggle just to make one single part. Now she, she was working on that part for about 10 minutes. And for me, 
you know, instead of me trying to helicopter over here, I try to like walk off a little bit to allow her space to kind of do it herself. And you can see she looking back like, where you going, sis? You gonna just leave me here with all this hair? And I did. I sure did. I left today because I was just like, baby, if I'm standing here, you're going to expect me to help you versus if I kind of like walk off and allow you to kind of figure it out on your own. You know, you, you'll you come. And she did. She figured it out. I came back and I was like, oh, snap. Yeah, I made her part. Look at it. And she rolling up her hair like I done taught her. And she about to wrap it up and put that clip on so she can work on this first section. Now, disclaimer, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know now. This is the only section she did. <laughs> It's the only section she did. Baby girl was struggling with them three strands. So she she get into work. She was just like, okay, well, mommy already put leave-in conditioner in there. All I gotta do is start detangling. We started detangling real good. And as you can see, that big brush was a little bit of a struggle for her, but granted that section was a little small. And as you can see, she also plowing through them damn curls. And that's the part I don't like about that brush. But, I, you know, it seems to be working with her. She's able to use it a little bit better than the Tangle Teaser. Now she's going in with that Twisting Cream by As I Am. And to be honest with you, the Twisting Cream, I didn't really talk about it much. But that has been one of my very first, like, 10 years ago twisting creams I ever purchased. Back when I first went natural and I was first trying to learn how to do the girl's hair, Cantu and As I Am and Texture ID were the three top tier brands for me, okay? And As I Am was considered luxury for me, all right? That was considered, oh, I got some money today. I'm gonna go splurge on some hair products. That, when I was mad, when I had to go to Sally and pick up another jar of that As I Am Twisting Cream, it has been wonders. It has done wonders. I love the formula. Very thick cream, moisturizes, and it definitely keeps it shine. I love that cream, my day one cream. So as y'all can see, Kalia is struggling with them three strands. She's trying to figure out which side to crisscross first. And I could see she was kind of confusing. She took that braid out and redid it probably about 20 times. And I let her, I absolutely, I, I let her. Cause she said she knew how to do it. And then she didn't ask for no help. I let, I, I sat there, I monitored and I, I, I was trying to watch her mood to see if she was going to, you know, kind of sink down into that, you know, I can't do this. I'm never going to be able to do this again, you know, but she never did. She kept right on going. She kept retrying, retrying, trying to redo her fingers, trying to get her, her method down. And I was like, go for it, baby. This is, this is how you do it. This is how you learn. You just keep trying and trying and then eventually it gets easier. Okay. Eventually it gets easier. Yes. It takes a lot of patience. It takes a lot of patience and it can be so frustrating, but she still got me back there in the back working my magic. And she already know I ain't gonna let her go around looking crazy, all right? We gonna fix it up. We gonna fix it up. She finally got through the braid and she was able to kind of finish it, but I could tell she did not like it. So I, I did not make her do another section. I went ahead and let her do that one. We gonna stick to the twist. And we're going to work on them three strands. I probably might have her practice on her, her younger sisters when I do their hair so she can kind of get that, you know, which pattern to cross with. So this is probably about two, two or three days later. We allowed the braids to dry and she had sports going on. So the braids kind of worked with her in the middle of trying to do karate. And now she's a volleyball girl. I got a volleyball girl, y'all. So she's unraveling those braids and she's taking her time. I told her to, you know, try not to fluff them out too much. We do the fluffing at the very end so we don't have extremely volume and frizzy hair. So she's taking out her time. And as you can see, that broke down braid sitting right there. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm not gonna say that was the perfect braid. That's a broke down braid, baby. Struggle. She struggled, but she finished it. And that's all right. And I let it stay right there. Y'all see, I ain't go back and fix it. Nope. I was like, well, baby, good job. You did one. And, and I left it right there. <laughs> So as I'm helping her fluff out her hair and take out the braids, I went ahead and styled that little side piece into two flat twists. So she had kind of like a little decoration on the side and then the curls were everywhere else. And, and that was pretty much it. I went ahead and did a little flat twist for her because that, that broke down braid was not gonna fit in with the other braids. So this was my way of kind of camouflaging the mistake. And it actually worked. <laughs> it, it actually worked. We pulled it off. She thought it was super cute. She was like, oh, mommy, thank you. <laughs> now for the twist, I went ahead and twisted those all the way down and did a Bantu knot. So she had like this flat twist that led into a Bantu knot. And that was it. We laid down her edges and she was good to go.
So that is going to complete this tutorial of another video of Kalia trying to learn how to style her own hair. In the next one, she's going to be doing a wash and go, which I think that'll be a little bit easier. She won't have to do any twisting or braiding. It's really just kind of defining the curls. And we're gonna see how that goes. I hope to see y'all on the next one. Be blessed and be safe.